Hi there, good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of Tobin Talks. Uh, today, we are going to talk about the real property tax timeline. Now, if you own property in Florida, any of the 67 counties, you are taxed on that property annually. Your property taxes cover a lot of revenue sources for a lot of local and state governments. And when you understand the tax timeline, you're in a better position to not miss deadlines and to really have a full understanding of the taxes you pay. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna explain that real property taxes are paid in arrears. That means that in November, you'll get a tax bill and that will be for the preceding or current year. In New York, New Jersey, some other states, you pay taxes in advance. Here you pay them in arrears. And for that, we prorate taxes on the settlement statement between buyer and seller, depending on where we are in the year. So here's the timeline. January 1st of the tax year, all exemptions and assessments are booked as of that date. What does that mean? That means that the property assessor for every county will assign a value as of that date. What's the value on January 1, 2021? Okay, what exemptions are available on January 1, 2021? The primary exemption that most people need to know about is homestead exemption. That means you have to live in the property as your primary residence as of January 1. Other exemptions include seniors, widow, um, and there's a few other smaller exemptions, but homestead's the main one. Do you live there as of January 1? And that's the date that it's gonna be appraised and assessed as of. The next date doesn't happen until August. So during that time between January and August, you have to apply for your homestead exemption. The deadline for that is March 1st. There's paperwork that can be found on each county's website, Miami-Dade Property Appraiser's Office, Broward County Property Appraiser's Office, Palm Beach County Property Appraiser's Office. Fill out your forms, send in the ID, make sure you apply for homestead by the end of February of that year. Next, we move on to August. From February or January, really, to August, the property appraiser is busy appraising the value of every property and booking exemptions. Come August, they send out what we call a trim notice. That means truth and millage. It's the notice of your proposed property taxes. It's not the bill, but it tells you for the first time that year how much the property's been assessed for by the government. It then gives rise to a 40-day appeal period to appeal your property tax assessed value, just the value. And then on November, in November, around the 15th, we send out tax bills. So in November, you get the actual bill. That's the first time you get the bill. That bill is not due and payable until the following March, but if you pay it in November when the bill comes, you get a 4% discount. 4% can be a real big amount on thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. If you pay it in December, you get a 3% discount. If you pay it in January, a 2% discount, 1% discount in February. It's due in full in March. And if you haven't paid it by April, penalties get assessed. If you haven't paid it by May, June, tax certificates get sold. That means someone else has paid your taxes for you and you need to repay them or they can go to a tax deed sale, okay? So the county only sends one notice each time. They don't bombard you with notices, so the burden's on you. Now, many of you may have your taxes paid by a mortgage company, then you don't really have to worry about the payment, but you should know the timeline. So. That's the property tax timeline. If you have questions, as always, feel free to call us. We appreciate all the comments and feedback you've been giving us. We appreciate the subscribers, and we'll see you later for another edition of Tobin Talks. Thank you. Bye-bye.